Hey guys, it's me Ellie and today I will be doing a video all about Ash Ketchum. It's sort of like a 3-in-1 video, so I'm going to be doing three different things based on him and like his Pokemon and stuff like that. Now today is the 1st of December as you all know, so you probably would have just opened up your calendars. Um, let me know in the comments below what kind of calendars you have. So don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. Okay, you may notice it's pretty dark. That's because it's night and I thought it would be cool to just turn my light off and do a video in the dark. Of course I just have my lamp on here, otherwise it will just be pitch black. Okay, so the first part of this 3-in-1 video will be my favourite Ash Catchin design. So you know that he has lots of different designs in all different re regions except for Johto. So my, I'm going to do my favourite Ash design. So it is sort of like a tie between the Kalos Ash and the Kanto Ash. But I think I'm going to have to say the Kanto Ash because he wears it in Kanto and Johto. And I just think it looks so cool. And yeah, it's just amazing. But I do like the Kalos one a lot as well. So that's definitely coming in a close second. Not sure about my third one though. Probably... Um... No, I'm really not sure. I quite like Sinnoh outfit, but I also like the uh, Hoenn outfit as well. I think the Sun and Moon outfit is a bit odd, but mm, let me know what you think again in the comments below. Alright, now part two of this 3-in-1 video will um, be my favourite, or my top three favourite regions that Ash Ketchum has been to. So you know that he's been to seven, and in 2019 he's going to go to his eight which is when Gen 8 is going to come out, can't wait for that. Um, and I'm going to say my top three favourites. So, going at number one has got to be Alola, because it has four tropical islands, it's just so warm, and you can wear short, like, shorts basically all the time. It's just really cool, the fact that it has four islands that you can just go around and explore. I think it's just an awesome region. Coming in at number two, is got to be Kalos because I just love the gyms. Actually, the other day I just bought a game where you um, go around Kalos. I think it is Pokemon Y. I may do a let's play on that, I'm not sure. But yeah, another reason why I like that. And coming in at number three has got to be Kanto because the brand new Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee games are based on that. Again, I also got the Let's Go Pikachu game in my uh, video earlier today. Um, and yeah, basically, Kanto definitely coming in at third. Even though it is only third, I do love the region. It's just awesome. Love every town. Okay, and now for the final part of this 3-in-1 video, I believe is probably going to be my favourite World of Ashes Pokemon. Now, this is out of every single region. But of course, my favourite Pokemon is Charizard. And because Ash has one, I'm not going to include Charizard. If I did, that would be my favourite one, but not including Charizard. My favourite Pokemon has got to be Poipole, because um, he is an Ultra Beast and Ash catches him in Alola. I believe in episode uh, 24 or 26, I'm not sure. But he catches it in an Ultra Ball because it's an Ultra Beast and it comes from Ultra Space. And it's a Poison type, its evolution is Nogonondal. Um, that knows moves like Poison Sting, uh, Poison Jab, and yeah, stuff like that really. Um, so I just think it's got a really nice sort of personality, the way it draws, lots of pictures, like pictures of Pikachu and its feelings, if you've seen the episode, it's just awesome. But Charizard is my favourite, but that's definitely my second favourite, just from the fact that it's an Ultra Beast and it's so cool. Alright, so that's it for this uh, sort of super spooky dark episode hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again probably tomorrow for another video bye